This is a Talk of the Town Extra. I'm Tawanda Coleman. It's Mental Health Awareness Month, and this week is Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. Dr. Stephanie Eakin from Rogers Behavioral Health is here to raise awareness as well as the understanding of mental health conditions and talk about the importance of early identification and intervention. Welcome. Thank you. Doctor, talk about the significance of Mental Health Awareness Month and more specifically, Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. Yeah, well, it gives us the opportunity to highlight um, things, you know, mental health illnesses that can affect people, in particular children we think about, um, because about 20% of kids actually have a mental health illness and aren't always seen early or identified early, and so it can really affect their development. So we spend this time talking about that. Wow. So what do you see as the greatest barriers or, or risk associated with mental health disorders in children? Well, there can be many, but one of the biggest ones is really stigma that's still out there. So people don't necessarily want to go have early intervention. If you think about other illnesses, we want to get it treated really quickly, mm -hmm. but with mental health, sometimes we wait. Um, and then there can be other barriers to just access to treatment as well. Um, some places just don't have the right treatment. How would a parent know or what signs would they look for that their child might have a mental health disorder? Well, there can be numerous ones, but ones that we think about are changes in mood. So if they appear more sad or more angry and irritable than normal, if it's affecting their school, so changes in grade, not wanting to go to school, those type of things, changes in appetite or sleep. Those are the kind of signs that are, are common ones that appear in a lot of mental illnesses. And I know you would be able to help them if they had any questions. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, Doctor. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having us. For more information or to schedule a screening, just call Rogers Behavioral Health at the number you see on the screen or visit their website, rogersbh.org.